questions about, you know, Pick's axis theory. Mm -hmm. So that's just something I'm just beginning to get used to. I was going to use it for some songs. I'm not sure what how you'd use it to get across certain emotions or the emotions you would get across with it. Mm -hmm. So it's um, questions based on that. Okay, and the question is? <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's not very specific, is it? Um, all right. So I think the question is how to apply pitch axis theory to get across certain emotions. So it's very, that's still quite vague, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> all right, so I was thinking maybe sadness, desperation, hopelessness, mm -hmm. maybe happiness as well. Maybe happiness. Yeah, okay. maybe happiness. Sure, okay. Maybe happiness. Th these, these really <laughs> restrict the range, definitely. Okay. So pitch axis means that you decide a key, and that's everything in the key of A because we want to be simple, okay? And then you can borrow modes, chords, sorry, chords from any mode that has a root in A. So you can take chords from A major, A minor, but also A Lydian, A Mixolydian, A Dorian, and A Phrygian. Okay, you can actually take chords also from other scales as long as the root of the scales is in A. Okay? Yeah. Good. Are you familiar with the concept of the order of brightness? Yeah, I, th I think so. Essentially, you can order modes from the brightest sounding to the darkest sounding. Okay? okay? And the way to do that is to see how many sharps and flats are in every mode. So okay. if we are in A, A major has three sharps in it, because you have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, they have three sharps. Okay. But A Lydian has four sharps, okay. because you have also the D sharp. So since you have more sharps, the mode is brighter, okay? Because if you raise notes, the feeling of the mode sounds a bit brighter, okay? okay. I mean, A major... <laughs> this mm. but a Lydian mm. sounds brighter than mm. right okay yeah. okay good so you are gonna create feelings by changing between those shades okay so you can start if, if you want to give a f the, the feeling of the chord progression going from light to dark you start in Lydian but then you borrow chords from darker modes. Okay. Okay? So, for instance, you can have the first chord is A major, but this can be A Lydian, A major, or A Mixolydian, because you don't know yet. Then I'm gonna keep the bass of A. You're gonna play the B, which is from Lydian. Okay. But then you want to go darker, so I'm gonna play the G, which is from Mixolydian. Slightly darker, not much darker, but slightly darker. And back to A. If you want to go even darker, you could play a chord from a darker mode. Okay. Okay. So, for instance, see it's darker. The notes go up, but the, 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 the feeling is going darker and darker because this C major can be taken from either Dorian. Eolian or Phrygian. Okay. Okay. Make sense so far? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so the way to do this is to have to get a big piece of paper. Okay. There are two ways of doing it, actually. The hard way is to get a big piece of paper, write all the modes in A, for instance, in the order of brightness. So you order them from the one with the most sharps, the one with the most flats. And you write every chord for every mode. Okay, and then you start experimenting going up and down between those different modes. Okay. Okay, you can start high and then go low. You can start low and then go high and hear how it sounds. That's the hard way. Okay. The easy way is to go on www.musictheoryforguitar.com. <laughs> Okay, click on Master of the Mode, scroll at the end of the page, follow exactly the instruction, okay? Okay. Pick the least, the, the most expensive option. <laughs> <laughs> and when you get the course, you, you follow religiously what I'm telling you. 
That sounds good. Yeah, that's, that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> when I say that's easier, it's only half a joke. It is actually easier. <laughs> I mean, that's like the point of the course. Okay, I know, I know this sounds like a completely shameless plug. It is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with it. Yeah, but you're cool <laughs> with it. But anyway, yeah. since right now, while you are on stage, you have no access to a phone to buy my course immediately, okay, while you're here, you can imagine this kind of thing from going from Lydian to Locrian. Okay. okay. Now, why don't you try and doing it? And, and we see how it goes, okay? Let's start from A major. Okay. You want me to play the chord of A major? Totally, totally. Play, the, play just the A major chord. All right, so. Make sure, yeah, raise oh. the volume. Volume up would be good. All right. How about this? Make sure you play the bass and you can hear. Very good. Now, in what mode do you want to be right now? Lydian. Lydian. Okay. Then I will just play a B in there, okay? Let's just stay simple, because there are other chords in Lydian, but the chord that sounds most Lydian, and it's easier to make it sound, is B. Okay. So just shift those two, those fingers two frets higher, and play, again, the same thing now. So play. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now pick another mode. Bright mode? No, no, go dark. Okay, that's good. Can I say Locrian? No, I'm kidding. Oh, go this Phrygian. Is from from Loc yeah. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's go Phrygian. Let's, let's go, go for you. It's still a big change. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember any chord in a Phrygian? Nah, or can you find it well. right now? Okay. Right. You would have a B flat, but that would be very hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because try to try go down one fret with those fingers, and it would be a B flat. It's gonna sound. Go. It sounds like you're out of tune now because nobody was expecting that. It's a it's a very big jump from. Lydian to Locrian. Right. Okay? But we can do an intermediate jump and put a chord that is in between. Okay. I could I would play a D major okay. in between because D major is in Ionian, Mixolydian, and Dorian. So it's just darker than Lydian, but not as dark as as um, Frisian. Yeah. Okay. So let's start again. A major. All right. <laughs> up to frets for B major, and we are in Lydian. Do you know how to play a D major with a bass of A? D major? With a bass of A. Okay. Good. And now go down to B flat, third fret. And back to A. so we can see how to reason about that. It's still a big change. Going to this D to this B flat is still a big change. Okay? Yeah. This is also because you are playing the exact same shape all the time. Yeah. But you could voice lead it. Yeah. And it will sound better. So what am I doing right now? Rather than playing D here, I'm playing D, D here. Why it works better? Because the top note here is a D note, and it is the same D note I will have in this chord. So this common note that I play here helps your guides your ear through the change. So again, A, just the root, B for the Lydian, okay. D, which is an intermediate chord, and then flat for uh, for um, Frigian. Oops. Sounds good? Yeah. Sounds good to you guys? Yeah. Good. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.